So what you're looking at the hillside is, uh, you know, you can see road stacked upon road upon road. These are old logger, uh, logging roads where they took every kind of tree off the, the hillside by going back and forth. We're not talking about a few miles of roads. We're talking about, as I always say, spaghetti packed into Tupperware, sometimes up to 15 miles of roads per square mile. So it, it's a serious alteration to landscape. It all started with the 95-96 flood event up here on the Loxa. Everyone, including the Forest Service hydrologists and whatnot, before that flood thought, well, it's overgrown, so it's stable. Well, in 95-96, they found out that they are in fact not stable. We lost access to most of our forest um, because of failures. A lot of them were from old roads that we had thought were stable that had come down and wiped out our roaded infrastructure. Not to mention fisheries habitat and stream habitat and water quality. This is very granitic soil. Um, it's very erodible. We're sitting on the Idaho batholith, so decomposing granitics. And those granitics, the percentage of fines and, and just the ability of those to move freely once you disturb the ground. You know, sediment does a bunch of bad things for fish. If in some cases we have fines that are extremely high, which actually covers up all the, the spawning gravel. There's a lot of impacts from sediment from roads, legacy logging roads, that we're going out and we're decommissioning those roads so we can reduce the sediment and restore the hydrology of the watershed. It's kind of a three-way partnership, BPA, the Nez Perce Tribe, and the Forest Service. There is a lot of work on the ground, hundreds of miles of roads decommissioned to to keep sediment inputs directly out of anadromous fish bearing streams. By recontoured, I mean they, so they, they go in and decompact the inner third of the road and then pull all the fill. We, we do full recontour, so they do pull all the fill back up and try and match the natural hill slope, whatever that is at that site. We look what roads are causing the largest problems of sediment and we tackle those with the funds we have available. In the Forest Service, we need to um, make way for all those, all those uses. Timber harvest, grazing, recreation, ATV use without causing resource damage. So one of our goals is to maintain needed access while treating watershed problems. But we've also fairly recently started doing road improvements on roads that through whatever process are going to remain on the landscape and they're stream adjacent so they're causing you know that that annual sediment contribution the, the premise there is what do we what can we do to minimize that sediment input into the stream and the answer is get the water off the road as soon as you can so we outslope or inslope depending on the location we put in a lot more drainage through culverts through drivable dips through things like that it's that compromise of um, allowing all those uses on the national forest while <laughs> not harming habitat, especially for ESA listed species, but really without, without causing resource damage in general.